fight the fight of faith. I don't look away. I don't run away. Facing all of What's my up, guys? Welcome back to HMH Team. My name is Ben, your host. So when it comes to macOS 14 Sonoma, we just got the release candidate number two. And this build is final. We'll get more info as we go throughout this video. But let me show you on my device here because if we go into our system settings and then go to general, or if we go here, either way, it's the same thing and go to software update, you'll see that currently I'm on macOS 14, the RC number one. But now today we have RC number two and not only that but we have a number of updates so for example if we click here where it says more you can see we have pro video formats and we have mac os 14 sonoma rc number two because i'm on rc number one this update is exactly 919.7 megabytes if you are on like beta 7 and you want to update to this rc number two it's going to come at somewhere around about 12 gigs to 14.5 gigs so just something to keep out and you can see it tells us basically everything that's new within mac os 14 sonoma since this is a final build or a final release candidate so you can see all these i'll be covering a full video separately when it comes to mac os 14 sonoma but if we do the update the software will start to download as we look for the download file size, I wanna show you some other operating systems that Apple released today. So here you can see Apple released iOS 17.0.1 alongside the associated iPadOS version. There's also macOS 14 RC number two. This is the video for that and uh, watchOS 10.0.1, I already covered that one, and iOS 16.7 alongside its associate iPadOS version, and watchOS 9.6.3. Most of these I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech, so if you wanna get to know these updates and know what your devices can do, definitely hit that like and subscribe and you stay up to date now i've updated my device now if we go into our settings go to general and go to where it says about you can see version comes in as 14.0 and the build number that i have here is 23a344 so that's a final build and basically if we go to see how much mac os storage is taking it just takes a moment to calculate it shouldn't be taking more than 21 or 22 gigs and you can see it's 19.14 gigs which is pretty much average now when it comes to new features and changes that are here if you open up the app store you will see the first change or update that apple has done they have updated the i iWorks, which is keynote numbers and pages and you can see for example for keynote we have a bunch of bug fixes and extension supports that have been added and numbers two has a, a few updates you can pause at each screen and see and you can also see here when it comes to pages we have a lot of updates now it doesn't end there because final cut pro has also been updated it now has the ability and flexibility to support the range of log encoded video shots on the iphone 15 pro and also some other fixes and also other video codecs that are supported same with iMovie it's been updated to support the new i15 pros uh, the iPhone 15 pros video codecs and you can see the changes here compressor received minor updates too and you can also see motion with its different updates now some of these video codecs that are supported here that you are seeing if you go into your system preferences and then go to general and go to software update you will see some available pro video formats that are supported and you can see them here if you want to install them just check that and then press install and this new video codex will basically download in a few seconds as you can see right there now if you have the new airpods pro 2 with the new features that is new adaptive audio personal audio and you go into your settings and be able to interact with your airpods you'll be able to see the immersiveness of it and 
and it has been added and once you basically connect your airpods you'll be able to enjoy the newly supported features and changes also there's a few fixes with this update one that i really like and appreciate since i use the spotify app quite a lot is that when you open it up because of the airpods update there will be a new splash screen that you have to agree to and once you agree you basically will be welcomed by this screen and this update has fixed spotify audio transfer issues so if you're using your iphone and then you start to play on your mac that process is now continuous now when it comes to some settings here if we go to our new wallpapers right here you can see that this sonoma wallpaper isn't yet dynamic i'm not sure why apple is taking so long it most likely will launch without this being dynamic but you see it just has two shades unlike the different ones as they get darker and darker with time as it goes on in the day and then when it comes to the new screen savers you can see what we have here i currently have the los angeles airport all together there is over 100 new screen savers that are here and they just look so smooth and amazing for example if i preview this one this is how it looks it seems a little bit glitchy and uh, i'll give it a moment to load again so what why is it showing me <laughs> this is crazy it's showing me the wrong uh screen saver so let me try that again There seems to be an issue with the screen savers. If I go to the screen saver section and choose, for example, Los Angeles Airport as my screen saver, uh, or if I choose Los Angeles Beach right here and go to the preview section, not which wallpaper it shows. It's now showing this one, which is good, unlike what was there before. And then if I uh, fade out, let me select Los Angeles Airport and then preview and now it's working for some reason it was showing me like the previous mac os wallpaper which wasn't supposed to be the case so i don't know it's a weird bug but it's good to see that now it's working no more if i go to safari and go to where it says about safari you can see that this build number has been updated before we had one nine six 16.1.27.11.16 and you can see that that has been updated to this new safari build number which is good now when it comes to basically the release notes of this update it has a bunch of new resolved issues so if we go to where it says mac os 14 sonoma rc2 or release candidate 2 you see that this has a bunch of new resolved issues i tried to highlight just quite a few but yeah this is a publicly available release notes and you can always view them but now let's talk about the fun stuff when it comes to performance because these are the results that i got on mac os 14 sonoma rc1 you can see i did a geekbench 5 reading and for single core i got a score of 7 1758 which was a very good jump from the betas to the first rc but with the multi-core here i got a score of 9606 now with this new rc2 it actually takes this a little bit further which i didn't expect so let me show you the results i got here with this rc2 you can see if i pull up here and pull my um, results these are the results i got with the rc2 so here on uh, mac os 14 rc2 single core i got a score of 1769 before that on rc1 it was 1758 so it's gone up by almost 10 and then on multi-core here i got a score of almost 10 thousand which you see here nine thousand nine hundred and ninety four before that i had nine thousand six hundred and six so 
this is a very good jump and a very good update for mac os 14 sonoma when it comes to battery maximum capacity you can see it's still on 96 percent so unchanged from the previous rc build so basically this is how this mac os 14 sonoma rc2 is working for me on my 14 inch macbook pro the build number that i showed you today is probably the one that's going to be final because the iphone 15s are being collected tomorrow so the most likely won't be updates tomorrow and then the this update is coming out officially to everyone that have supported devices on tuesday the 26th so this i feel is final and uh, that's just my quick two cents and if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace and I'm flexing, I'm leading cause life is a blessing I'm currently counting my blessing Ascending for heavens, I'm headed away from the universe I'm coming back, not as human things Came to the touch, I'm a sinner but not a beginner Though every day is a beginning I'm critically breathing, I'm dusty I'm kicking my inches, you nasty, I spit on your Misery home, you Misery home, you I never liked you, and you never liked me Stay warm But nothing contagious is my anger Riding around in the city, I'm sucking